see that the campus is finally underway this year? It's fantastic. I'm so happy that so many colleagues from all over Europe came and joined us for this event. Um, I think um, the colleagues from FI Compass have put together a fantastic program and I'm really looking forward uh, to the next two days and to the exchange of views and experience uh, with the colleagues who are there. I can only agree with Eric. I mean, I think the uh, event was extremely successful. It was well received last year. We obviously want to try and build on that success. Uh, I think the, the joint challenge for us is to make sure that we nevertheless constantly adapt and evolve so that we are responding to the needs of the different stakeholders. One of the real treasures of my campus is the fact that the real breadth and diversity of experience and expertise is actually in the room. It's the practitioners who are actually doing the financial instruments on, on the ground. So I think what we've really tried to do this year is to make sure there's lots of opportunities for uh, networking and peer-to-peer -peer exchange. So I'll be interested to see how that works out this year. There are a number of elements in the omnibus regulation which are supposed to promote the take-up of financial instruments. And this is obviously the reason why uh, we want to explain uh, to our stakeholders what these rules are about. And most importantly, and I think this is also important for our partners of the EIB is this possibility to combine our funds, so the European Structural Investment Fund, with the so-called Juncker Fund, so the fund for strategic investment. And here the Omnibus offers new exciting opportunities and I think it's, it's, it's worthwhile to, to, to share this and it's also worthwhile to put this then in practice. Indeed, it's, it's obviously been uh, a key role for the IB in actually implementing the financing vehicle under the FC guarantee. But what we're now beginning to see actually coming through are very much good examples of investment platforms and indeed the combinations of ESIF and FC funds that Eric was just mentioning. Um, now, I wouldn't like to give the idea that we were just sort of sitting waiting for the omnibus provisions to actually come into force. Actually, particularly through our advisory services, we've been working probably for about 18 months with the Commission colleagues and actually trying to build a pipeline of these new investment platforms which will come through um, and indeed I think you know hopefully these will now act very much as an inspiration to some of the practitioners that are here at FI Campus really so that they can see how they can scale up uh, their financial instruments and indeed hopefully address a much wider pool of investment needs. I think it's fantastic to have case studies and to speak with the colleagues on the ground to better understand what their key concerns and problems are so that we are able to help them more efficiently. Well, I think it is very useful, obviously, also for the colleagues to better understand the concerns uh, of our constituency on the ground. And, and as Simon has said, we have now moved to a phase where we get away, away a bit from the awareness raising and we go now really to the practical problems, what prevents them from setting up and implementing financial instruments. And here I think indeed this is the way we want to go and where we want to collect also precious feedback from the colleagues uh, during the next two days to understand also how to evolve further efforts I compass for the next years to come. Simon, Eric, thank you very much. Thank you.